Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to horizontally translate a linear function. Let's look at translating it over the x-axis. So let's say we have a linear function like so, right? And we want to translate that over the x-axis. That just means we have the mirror image. You have to think about flipping it. If you were to fold this, you just flip it over. And that's how you would translate it over the x-axis. So say this point is 0, negative 4, right? So say that this is a slope of 1. It looks like a good slope of 1. So let's say that this line is y equals x minus 4, right? If we're going to translate that over the x-axis, we're going to fold it Think of folding it, and it's going to instead intersect at 4, and it's going to have the same slope, right? So now it'll be y equals x plus 4, and it's just folded over on itself, and we just translated it horizontally over the x-axis. And you can translate a number over any imaginary axis if you want to translate it over this line, you just do the same thing, thing, think of folding it. This line could be y equals, you know, negative 16, and you could just think of folding it over and get your points like that. It's just going to be equidistant from both sides of the line you used to translate it over. I'm Rachel, and thanks for learning with us today.